Hello and welcome to another episode of Code Time. My name is Pete Medina and today we're going to be taking a look at how we can use viewport width units to dynamically change the font size of, in this case, a title. We'll use this headline right here as our example. And you'll see how this works as we go along, but basically the font size will change depending on the browser width. So on a very small screen, it'll shrink. On a very large screen, it'll grow. It's not relative to the browser, rather it's relative to the screen size itself. All right, so let's jump into our HTML file here in Sublime. And I'm going to remove these, um, this div right here with the mono text large class in here and remove the closing div. And then I'll tab this back one. This way everything's more consistent as we work. All right, now for this H2, this is where I'm going to apply this, uh, this effect to it. I don't wanna apply it to everything for this example because I think it's a little bit too extreme for what I wanna show you. But instead we'll just do it on this headline and we'll give it a class of Let's see, how about title-scales? We can talk about uh, utility class names in a later episode, but for now, title-scales. All right, now let's go over here to our screen.css and create that. So I'm going to put it right here in uh, my font size utility classes. And we will do, actually, you know what? Hmm, instead of title-scales, let's do text-scales to be consistent with our text large. All right, and we're going to set a font size of, let's see, we'll do 2VH, or VW for viewport width. All right, so basically what that means is we're saying that the font size is going to be equal to 2% of our viewport width. So if our viewport, which is our screen, is say, hypothetically, it's a thousand pixels wide, then this will be 20 pixels will be the font size, right? Whereas if it was only a hundred wide, then it would be two, two pixels wide equivalent, which is very small. And so that's why I'm only going to be applying it to this title and it's going to be a special case for this example. But hopefully it inspires you to do some experimentation with it and see some ways that you can actually apply it in a design. All right, so we have text scales. Let's go ahead and rename it right here to text scales as well. All right, and if we save this and jump back over to our browser and refresh, we should see this now being about the equivalent of 20 pixels. And it is, great. So let's take a look at how that actually scales relative to our viewport. But before we do that, we have to tell the browser that we want this page to be responsive and to actually change depending on how things or how wide the screen is. So let's take a look at how it looks without that. So let's go to inspect and this is in Chrome. Firefox has the same thing. So inspect and then I have this uh, little menu popped up. Yours might be off by default, but if it is, look for this icon it has these uh, little mobile devices here. It says toggle device toolbar. Just check it and you'll see a screen just like this. Um, yours might also have it configured on the right hand side. So just look for it there as well. All right, but let's take a look at how this scales. So I'm going to be dragging this window and see how when I get really small, this these fonts, they kind of just, they shrink. They don't really move along with it. They just sort of zoom in or out. And same with this headline right here, which is where I'm applying that effect. So let's change that. Let's go into our HTML file here and up at the top, right below our screen.css, I'm going to write meta colon VP and that's for viewport. So meta colon VP and then press tab. And now Emmett is setting these rules for how the device scales. We'll see that it's no longer user scalable. The initial scale is 1.0, max is 1.0, Minimum is 1.0. And what this means is don't be zooming in or out or don't be shrinking the content to fit a small screen. Instead, just let it flow with it, make it more responsive. All right, so let's save that. And again, if you missed it, it's just, just like this, meta colon VP. All right, that's what I type and then I press tab. And that's using Emmet, that's the Sublime Text plugin. It's what we've been using in some of the previous episodes. All right, so let's save this and jump back over here and refresh. No difference here on the initial scale, but now if we do inspect again, and we click on this uh, mobile device if we don't already have it, 
Notice now that everything shrinks to fit. So the text flows depending on the width of my window. And in Chrome, I can click right here where it says responsive and I can see these device previews. So I can click iPhone 6 Plus and I'll see how it looks on an iPhone 6 Plus. This is how the letters would scale. Now let's scroll down though and notice that that headline now is really tiny. That's because it's 2% of 414. So it's not really that practical. Let's, um, let's go back here to our screen.css and let's say that our text scales, we want that to be instead, how about 5VW? Save that, jump back over here and refresh. And now it's a little bit more legible. But notice now as I scale this, notice how that headline is actually growing with it at each step, whereas the font sizes around it aren't. So this will always be relative now to that width. So it's always gonna be 2% of whatever this number is right here. So right now it's 721, that's 2% of that. And as we keep growing it, it keeps scaling. In fact, right here where it says 1240, I can change that to 2000. And now I'll see that it's gone really big relative to everything else around it. So that's how we can use viewport width units, which are always relative to the viewport to change our font size and to make them scalable. This might be effective in a special call out or some sort of, you know, maybe even an ad or something like that. My challenge to you is to experiment with these VW units here, maybe do some research on how other designers are using them and then see what you come up with. And that does it for this episode. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Goodbye.